Hey, what's up guys? Johnny here back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. Season 2 is about to end, 17 days left. So just over two weeks remaining before we finally get season three. Now what that means is the test servers went live yesterday and there's a bunch of media posts on the official Discord. Patch notes have been released, a bunch of leaks also about what could possibly come for season three including a brand new 20 versus 20 mode in battle royale new vehicles a new operator skill for battle royale also but also a bunch of balance changes for weapons and multiplayer new maps new game modes so in today's video we'll look at all the stuff that we can expect for season 3 a big shout out to simski on the official discord has been posting a bunch of screenshots that you guys will see in this video including the patch notes the vehicles, the skins, new wonder weapons for zombies also. So let's check it out, guys. And let's start with the zombies change. You guys know I love zombies. So of course we can expect a new map and probably new game modes for zombies. But right now on the test servers, zombies have been removed. But it doesn't mean it's going to be removed in Season 3 because they announced or they revealed two new wonder weapons. Like the second wonder weapon is not even released yet. We only have the HG40 lava and we're still waiting for the ICR1 lava that's not released yet. Well, they added two more guys. First of all, the monkey bombs. It's an old school zombie item that's been in the box for a long, long time if you guys have been playing zombies. So basically what it does is you crank the grenade, you throw it and all the zombies will gather around and then it's gonna explode. So at high round, it's not going to necessarily kill the zombies because it's not strong enough, but it's going to give you a break and pull the zombies away from you. Next one is the KRM-262 Lava. So all Lava weapons so far coming in zombies, three weapons, one monkey bomb. So I think we will be able to use two weapons plus the monkey bomb. Usually the monkey bomb does not take a slot. It goes on the grenade slot. So good news or bad news, tough to say, but usually when they release these new wonder weapons, it's going to be in crates, it's going to be expensive, but I'm kind of expecting as we get new weapons, the old ones might move to the credit store. That's what they do with score streaks and, and other stuff. So I mean, it would be really nice to get one of these wonder weapons in the credit shop in the future. Now let's move to the battle royale changes, guys, because there's a lot of stuff coming in battle royale. So Battle Royale guys, the first major change is a brand new game mode, 20 versus 20 Battle Royale team that match. No kidding guys, like check out this screenshot here. So you see the Battle Royale map has been divided in two halves, one blue half, one red half with two airplanes at the start. So the teams will drop in their half of the Battle Royale match and will have time to loot at the start. But then it's all team that match. So you'll go on the map, try to find enemy teams and get kills. Now, if you get killed, you will respawn with all your loot. You're not going to lose your stuff. You're not going to have to go back and try to find loot again. So you respawn with your loot. You keep getting kills until one of the two teams reach the objective of 100 kills. Now, it's not confirmed, but it's what we see on the screenshot. The objectives seem to be... 100 on the top left corner of the screen so 20 versus 20 should be very exciting there should be a lot of action and it should be a lot of fun cannot wait to try it out for real and see if it's gonna become a popular game mode in cod mobile so from the patch notes they say 20 versus 20 should be a fast paced and intense action of team deathmatch inside the BR world. All right, next up in Battle Royale, guys, is a brand new vehicle, the motorcycle, two person vehicle, high speed and agile vehicle for assaults and escapes. Now, that will be a lot of fun. Like, the ATV is already the fastest vehicle right now, and it's pretty crazy driving this thing at full speed and getting some crazy jumps. Uh, I remember dying in the gas last week or two weeks ago because I lost control. So imagine if the motorcycle is faster than the ATV. Expect some crazy fails, guys, in Battle Royale. And that will be a lot of fun for sure. Now check it out, guys. Next one is even more exciting. A brand new class, a new chip skill will be added to Battle Royale. And it's called Trap Master. So Trapper is a powerful tactical chip for defense and ambush here you see the electric trip wire route a high voltage current line enemies passing through will be harmed and movement speed will decrease 
So I don't know about that one because the chances that enemies will go through your tripwire on a large map are not very high at the start. But when the maps get smaller near the end of the game in the last few circles, I guess it's going to be much more efficient. If you're in the final circle and you lay down some electric wire traps, there's a pretty good chance that your enemies will fall in your trap. So because of that, reducing movement speed on your enemies in the final circle will help you get the final kill. The passive skill is called territorial effect. It will increase the movement speed and skill recharge speed of nearby allies. So it means your scout and your mechanic will be using their skill more often if you guys stick together you have to be nearby so it really looks like this passive skill is kind of op it will help the whole team and i think it could be competing for a top four spots in squads now next one is a balance change to the transform shield class so the defense class is probably the worst in the game right now uh, not a lot of players use it except bots last time they buffed it they added the flashbang effect so you flash your enemies now but on top of that, they will add a high pressure air blast. So while you deploy your shield, if enemies shoot at you, it will shift the trajectory of the bullets going towards the player. So it just got a little better, but still guys, I don't think it's enough. The transform shield will still be a bottom tier in my opinion. So that's pretty much it for Battle Royale guys. 20 versus 20 death match. A new vehicle, a new chip skill, some balance changes. Now let's check out the multiplayer changes. Now we got some screenshots of a free to play Pharaoh with no skins and also a free to play Locust Sniper with skin. But still, it should be a level up reward. So yeah, a lot of guys have been asking for that. It is not really cool when they add new weapons, but they're only available in crates without a free to play version anywhere. But how long will it take? We already seen a free to play version of Razorback and a free to play version of the ICR weapon. They have been released a while ago and we still don't have the free to play version. So I don't know how long it's gonna take, but we know it's out there, we know it's coming. And once again, it is not a big deal in my opinion because these weapons that are not available as free to play are not top weapons in the game. So it's not pay to win still because these new weapons are just collectibles. They do not affect the rank multiplayer rankings and they do not affect the gameplay that much. It, I mean, it's not meta at all. So really no reason to complain except for collectors, I guess, but still. I think it would be a problem if something like the Type 25 or AK-117 were not available as free to play. Now, that would be a pay to win problem. But right now, these weapons that are only available in crates are kind of average, so no big deal. Now, we will have a new operator skill and a new score streak. And it's been announced already for the score streak, the XS1 Goliath. And I'm sure you guys have seen that from previous Call of Duty games. Now, the operator skill is called Hive HIVE, and it's a powerful tactical weapon that stuns and kills enemies by burying traps. Now, let's go with weapons balance change, guys, because I know a lot of complaining right now. It's all the same weapons we see. The same few weapons are dominating their top rank multiplayer. You guys think SMRS, MSMC, and Type 25? Well, they all getting nerfed, guys. Let's start with SMRS. The rocket launcher is so annoying right now. So they will reduce the move speed and the lethal range as well as the damage towards score streaks so if you shoot like a sentry gun with the rocket launcher it will do less damage i don't think it will still one shot but we will see but it's a good thing to reduce the movement speed a little bit and the lethal range so you won't be able to splash and one shot someone if you don't direct hit now for type 25 and ak117 they are the top two ars in the game right now they will both get a slightly reduced recoil stability if you use the four grip now for the msmc they will reduce the mag size from 30 to 25 that's pretty big on top of that they will lower the four grip gain so i know a lot of top players using the msmc use the four grip to control their recoil well, it's not gonna be as good as it was now ak-47 will get a small buff guys if you like the ak-47 the vertical recoil will be reduced a little bit which is good so that's it for now pretty good preview of what we can expect for the next season in about two weeks i know there will be much more we can also expect a new map in battle royale chernobyl was leaked a few weeks ago the weapons balance changes also should shuffle the meta a little bit 
in ranked multiplayer so that should be refreshing so that's it for now guys thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed the video smash that like if you did and subscribe to the channel for more call of duty mobile videos i'll be back soon till then watch my other stuff take care